Hello everyone, this is Running on Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, and everyone watching, I'm your host, The Report of the Week, and this is Running on Empty Food Review. Well, a uh, happy whatever day it happens to be for you, dear viewers, and uh, it's a, uh, it's a wild and windy uh, early mid-afternoon at the time that I'm recording this, and I think the weather kind of is foreshadowing it. What it's foreshadowing, I don't know. It's just, it's just foreshadowing it. And I guess in that case, I'm trying to be dramatic and silly and trying to say it's foreshadowing somehow, some way, uh, this pizza. Maybe because it's a blustery day and it's a thin crust pizza. And theoretically speaking, perhaps a thin crust pizza would have better abilities to, to fly than another pizza. Maybe it'd be better to kind of glide in the wind, you know? I don't know. Maybe. I haven't tried it, so I honestly can't give you an answer one way or another. I know that's what everyone was really wondering about. But nonetheless, Little Caesars has a new release out. Everyone likes the pizza reviews. I do too. Pizza's one of my favorite foods. They have a thin crust pepperoni pizza out. And you'd think, wow, you know, I thought they already had this. Now it's a new thing. Uh, where obviously we know that Little Caesars, you know, they have the deep dish pizza... Uh, the deep, deep dish pizza, the deep, deepest dish pizza, remember that one? We don't want to, but we do. And, uh, you know, they have the extra most bestest pizza, the standard pizza. Well, now they got thin crust pizza out. And, uh, it's, uh, supposed to just be a crispy, flaky, thin crust pizza with lots of pepperoni, apparently more pepperoni, or about the same amount, so to speak, as would be on the extra most bestest pizza. That's supposed to be a thin crust pizza, toppings just sprawling, you know, toppings everywhere, copious amounts of uh, pepperoni on this pizza, also features a Munster mozzarella cheese blend, and it is cut more or less into these little squares, which you'll see in a minute, rather than the standard uh, you know, triangular-esque slices, because sometimes it's not always in a, a perfect triangle. Toppings again going to the crust, $6.42 is the price for this pizza pie, as they, uh, as they say. Before we do get into our review, and uh, I'm sure the airplane sounds a lot louder to me than it does to you, I want to give a quick shout out to a bunch of our patrons uh, that support all of this, support the channel, support the radio show, keep it going. I just want to give a big shout out to Eric, Thomas, The Trees Network, Jacob, and Krishan. Also want to give a shout out to Kathy, Vivian, Gregory, and Sir Sebastian. A uh, big shout out to all of them. They really help keep things going at patreon.com slash the report of the week. Great way to help keep this channel and especially the radio show, which is a more serious thing. It's something that I really enjoy doing the most. Reaches tens of thousands of people around the world and really helps so many people. Keeps it going. Your support is appreciated. Patreon.com slash the report of the week. All right. We talked about the thin crust pizza, right? Now we're gonna see it. I think this is what everyone wants to see. Uh, we, we got we got a multitudinous amount of requests for this one. So here it is, the grand reveal. And there it is. This is this is everyone's favorite part. They get to see the, the pizza. Let me get a good close up shot for you. I'm, I'm gonna try to hide behind the box. Let's just do a new tactic here. Make that work out. But anyway, there it is. It's like real close up, you know, but I have, I have a feeling that you'll be able to see it good, get a good, good view of it. You know, that's what it looks like. And you can see, though, it does have quite the amount of pepperoni on it. I will hold it up to the camera so, you know, you'll see how thin it really is. But you can see the cheese blend. You can see that the toppings really do extend directly to the crust. And likewise, what you can see is, uh, well, I mean, that it does kind of, it's, it's cut into little squares, uh, which is interesting. Interesting approach, I'll say. So anyway, with that, let's go ahead and grab a slice. And to preserve the blessed pizza, I'll close the box. How thin is thin crust? There we go. Get a good view of it. I mean, you can see, though, it is pretty 
pretty thin a pizza. And uh, yeah, you can see it pretty much does extend all the way to the crust, the toppings do. I guess if I kind of want to ask the question to you, like in a passive aggressive manner, I can say, that thin enough for you, buddy? I don't know why I would. I kind of just did that. Anyway, you can see the slices are kind of a little small. But then again, I mean, there are plenty, though. I'll try it. I'll let you know what it tastes like. So it's a new thin crust pizza from Little Caesars going in. I'm gonna eat one more slice and make some light conversation. This is what people do while they're eating pizza, yeah. So you have a uh, good sleep last night? Mm-hmm. How come? Yeah, well, well, what can you do? I mean, you know, you... Yeah, exactly, you know. Mm-hmm. All right, look. I, no, no, I don't mean to cut you off, but I'm just trying to eat pizza, you know? We can... I, I just... It's one of those things I don't need to know about that, you know? Thank you. So uh, here's a quick review for you. Thin crust it is. They describe it as crispy, flaky, thin crust pizza. Now it has a lot of toppings. It has a lot of pepperoni. You're probably going to be getting a piece of pepperoni in each and every single bite of this pizza. Their pepperoni is more of like the, not really a spicy pepperoni. It's more of just a salty, greasy pepperoni. So it's going to be a, a thirst quenching. That's, you know, it's just, that's not, that's incorrect. It's going to be a drink that's going to make pizza that's going to make you very thirsty, uh, just because it's a very, very salty, sodium enriched pizza, so to speak. And it's going to have, it's just going to be a really salty pizza. The cheese blend, it is a more, a little more light on the cheese, so to speak. A lot of pepperoni, a little light on the cheese. Uh, it definitely is a thin crust pizza, though. It's, it does have that little crispiness, especially around the edges of the pizza, which you would come to expect. However, flaky is not something that I would necessarily use to describe this pizza. I really would not consider the base of this pizza uh, to be flaky, more or less. Now, calling it a, crack, a cracker-esque pizza, that's a little too much, because it isn't like that either. Uh, it's a mix between the two, you know, where it just has a little bit more crispiness and flakiness, so to speak. So keep in mind, you might get a little bit of a crunch in every bite. Um, the sauce is just rich, flavorful. Cheese, again, a little lighter on the cheese. Wish this pizza could have a little bit more cheese to it. 
um, because sauce is good, robust, tastes fine, lots and lots of pepperoni, that's fine, tastes good, we all like the pepperoni on the pizza. Cheese, I just wish there could be a little bit more cheese to balance things out, has that crispiness, um, a little bit of flakiness, but, you know, as I said, it's not overwhelmingly flaky. So, price-wise for this, $6.42, which, I mean, isn't too bad. Little Caesars is a economy pizza chain, you know, but... $6.42, I guess it's a specialty. I think it's just for what you would expect uh, for Little Caesars. Maybe it's a little pricey, but I'm not going to criticize them too much. You know, it's an okay price for what it is. So out of 10, I'm just going to be giving this an 8.0 out of 10. That's an 8.0 out of 10. Just because, again, it tastes pretty good for what it is. I just wish there was more cheese on it. Maybe had a little bit more of that flakiness. And, uh, you know, otherwise it's not the greatest pizza in the world. Certainly better than, like, a frozen pizza, so to speak. It's kind of what you would expect from Little Caesars, so keep that uh, in your mind while you're going for it. So that said, that's all that I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, The Report of the Week, and on one final note, uh, I know, like, during these videos, I kind of put on the metaphorical clown makeup, you know, and just kind of have some fun with it, and it's just very lighthearted. If you want to check out a more serious discussion, really recommend you give my uh, radio show a listen to. You can find it on SoundCloud, soundcloud.com slash v-o-r-w underscore radio underscore i-n-t. I know most of us just care about the pizza, but in that I discuss uh, the midterm elections and really just how important it is to go out and vote. I don't take sides, none of that. Just got to go out and vote. Uh, also, there's an extra hour of some music in there, too. It's just kind of a diverse program. Really recommend you listen, though. And that's all that I have for you. Have a great remainder of your day or night or whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you again with another video at some point and time in the future at some point. That's all that I have for you. Take care.